students i am miss hiteshi and i'll be teaching you maths we'll be having a lot of fun this year be ready with your files notebook sharp and pencil eraser and colors to study again today we are going to learn about backward counting are you all ready let's go what can you see over here these are stairs and this boy wants to climb these stairs will you help him yes let's count the stairs for this boy this is the number this is the number 1 stair now this is the number 2 stair this is the number 3 stair what's come up what comes after 3 4 so we write 4 now this is the number 5 stair what comes after 5 Six and then seven. What comes after seven? Eight. Then what comes after eight? Nine. Which is the last number? Ten. Now you all can see this boy needs ten stairs to reach the. top of the board now he wants to go down where does he want to go he wants to go down will you help him in counting let's go 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 count with me count again 10 9,8,7,6,5,4,3,2,1 This is known as the backward counting when we go from top to bottom. This is the backward counting. Now practice with me again. Let's go. 1,2,3,4,5,4,3,2,1 Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is called the forward counting. This is called the forward counting. So when we climb the stairs from down to top, from bottom to top, it's called forward counting. Let's mark it. When we go from down to top, what it is called? It's called the forward counting. And when we go from top to bottom, it's called backward counting. Will you practice with me again? Let's practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is called the forward counting. Yes. Now we want to go down. Speak with me and speak loudly. I am listening to you all. Now we want to go from top to. bottom now speak out with me 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 so this is called backward counting this is called backward counting now the boy is very tired leave him alone now we will count it from our hands make two fists yes now let us count with forward counting 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन नाउ हाउ डू वी काउंट विथ बैकवर्ड काउंटिंग हाउ मेनी फिंगर्स आर दियर टेन सो टेन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन एंड देन जीरो देर आर नो फिंगर लेफ्ट लेट इज प्रैक्टिस अगेन मेक टू फिस्ट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन दिस इज कॉल्ड दी फॉरवर्ड काउंटिंग लेट इज कम एंड लेट इज काउंट दी बैकवर्ड काउंटिंग हाउ डू वी काउंट इट टेन नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो नाव यू ऑल हैव लर्न दी बैकवर्ड काउंटिंग ये हेलो किड्स ओलियो वी लर्न बैकवर्ड काउंटिंग एंड वी इंजॉय द लॉट बट टूडे वील प्रैक्टिस राइटिंग बैकवर्ड काउंटिंग आर यू ऑल रेडी Open page number eleven in your maths files. Open your maths files, and then open page number eleven. Have you all open? Now take out your pencils. But before that, before writing, we will practice backward counting once again. So are you? Once again. So are you all ready? Take out your hands. Show me your 10 fingers and start practicing with me. 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 Excellent. You all know backward counting so we will start writing backward counting Let us start writing from here What do we have to write here 10 I have written 10 It's backward counting so I have written 10 After 10 What do I have to write after ten? No, not eleven. It's backward counting, so I have to write nine. I have to write the number nine. Now, after nine, what do I have to write? Come on, you all know. I have to write eight. Right number eight. Speak loudly and write with me. Right number eight. After eight, what do I have to write? Number seven. Number seven. Have you all written? Excellent. Now we have to write six. If you are not able to understand how do we write take the help of your fingers and take the help of the backward counting i taught you with the fingers okay now we will write 5 because with this backward counting write number 5 excellent now we have written 5 So close your one finger. What do we have to write? I have to write number four. I have to write number four. And after four, close your finger once again. And how many fingers are left? Three. 
I have to write number three. Oh, I have written it wrong. So I will erase it and write it all over again. If you have done it wrong, you can also use an eraser and write it again neatly. And after three, I'll close one of my fingers. How many fingers are left? Two. How many fingers are left? Two. So I will write number two. Now show me number two on your fingers. And what do I have to do? I have to close one of my fingers. So how many fingers left? One. I have to write number one. We have practiced writing backward counting. Now let's move to the next row. I have completed my first row. Have you completed yours? I'm waiting for you. You have to write it very neatly. Okay. Come to the next row. Start writing 1, 0, 10. 1, 0, 10. Now what's the next number? In 10 fingers, if I close one of my fingers, how many fingers will be left? 9. Excellent. 9. Now, in 9 fingers, if I close one of my fingers, how many fingers are left? Count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 fingers. So, what do we write? Number 8. Then, after 8, show me 8 fingers first of all. Close one of the fingers. Then, what is left? 7. So, I write number 7. Then, after 7, how many fingers can you see here? 6. So I'll write number 6. Then which number? If I close one finger, how many fingers am I left with? 5 fingers. So I'll write number 5. Then close one of your fingers in 5 fingers. How many fingers are left? 2, 3, 4. So you have to write four. Then tell me three. Three. Then after three, I have to write close one of my fingers and what? How many fingers are left? Two. I have to write two. Then after two, I'm, what I'm going to write? If I close one of my fingers, how many fingers am I left with? One. You all are so intelligent. Have you written? Have you completed your whole page? I have completed my whole page. I'm waiting for you. Make sure you write it very neatly and it should be dark. Awesome!